Hi guys, Wistry here. When going over the Unrate 6.12 batch notes, I noticed that the way shares are working has been drastically changed. And I must admit, it confused me at first and gave me an error in the end. So I want to show what changed, how it changed, why it changed, and how it's working now. And also show what error I had and how I fixed it. So first of all, all the unweight versions, like the current stable one, all think that the array is the master and everything is related to the array. And you can add or not add cache pools as you want. On the new system with CFS, the array is no longer the real master. Sadly for now, the final storage, you can only pick the array, but I expect CFS pools to be coming there as well in a later version. Anyway, let's have a look at what's different and what it looks like. I have 6.11.5 and 6.12 running next to each other, so we can really compare. Let's add a share on both. The first one is the easy one, being an array-only pool, meaning we won't be using any of the cache functions. On the old system, you just say cache, no, on the new system, you go primary storage onto the array. This is the part that actually confused me in the beginning. I thought primary would be like the main storage, like the old array is, and then you could use secondary storage to use cache pools or not. It's the other way around. Uh, 6.12 will first write your files onto your primary storage, and then you can decide like, do I want to move it? Where do I want to move it and set that as your secondary and then tell the mover how to move it. I'll get into that in a bit. So first array only, use cache pool on the old one, no, add share. On the new one, array only, primary storage, array, no secondary and add. If we go back to the overview of our shares, we can see array only. Over here it says cache no. On the new system it's actually really nice and clean. Array only storage is your array pool. Perfect. Let's add another share on both systems. This time let's go down the list. Use cache pool, yes. So we're gonna call the share cache, yes. And we'll do the same for the new one. What does that say? Move a transfer files from, it actually says your cache pool onto the array. So new files will still be created on the cache pool, but mover will take it off the cache onto your array. To get the same result on the new system, we have to set the primary storage to our cache pool, then the secondary to our array, and tell mover to move this data off our cache onto the array. Let's add the share on both systems. And tell it done to go back to the overview. As you can see, cache yes. Over here it's like cache yes. And using this cache pool on the new system, it's way cleaner. It's telling you like, hey, you first save your data on your cache pool and then I move it onto your array. Let's move into the next chair. The option is prefer. So I'm going to call it cache prefer. And I'll do the same on the new system. What this tells us is it will try to save the files on our cache pool. If it's full, it goes onto the array. And when mover runs, it tries to, uh, it tries to take all the data of the array and puts it back on our cache pool. This is useful if you um, might fill up your cache, but you might delete some temporary files later. So you can still save it on the array as you go, but it will end up in uh, on the cache as long as you have space there. To get something similar done on the new system, just like before, you say primary is your, uh, your cache pool. I'll show with the ZFS for this one um, to show it on the on the main view as well. And the secondary is your array. But this time we tell 
mover to move off our array onto our ZFS cache pool. Let's add the share on both systems and say done. And over here, you can clearly see cache prefer. It says prefer cache, not so clean. While on the new system, it tells us like, hey, you first save to your ZFS pool. But I also try to take all the data off your array onto your ZFS pool if there is storage available. Way cleaner, way better. Now, the last one is actually the hardest, and that's why I went into issues as well. So let's add shares. And that one is only. Basically, that's been added to unwait for speed. Let's call it cache only. So how unwait is um, showing everything on your cache and your array is it's using SHFS. And what SHFS does is like, hey, I have a share called app data and I find it on both your array and your cache pool. It will map all the files that are in there and it will clearly show um, the result of the combined folder. Well, that's really nice if you use cache as a cache um, it does provide a lot of overhead and overhead is bad for things like, for example, your Docker, your virtual machines, your app data, those you actually just want on your cache and you don't want that on your array. So technically the only option is made for that. So you can tell the system like, Hey, those files will only be on my cache disk and it should be fine. However, there's no clear indication, at least that I know that it's not going through SHF still, and that you still get the overhead and the speed penalty that it, uh, that it provides. So now you just have to guess, you tell the system only. I know the files don't go on the array, so that's one good thing. Um, that's mostly because I also do it for my CCTV. I don't want my CCTV to go onto my array at all. Uh, recording 24 seven, they have their own disk. They have their own 24 seven rated disc and it has to stay on there. So for my CCTV, I have a cache only pool as well. And I know that never goes onto my array, but I still don't know if it gets the SHFS speed penalty impact um, and all the overhead or not. So let's add the only share on the old system. Now on the new system, it's way easier. You have your primary storage. You just tell it like, hey, this is my primary pool. Secondary, none. I'll never have to move. And you add your share. After doing that, you can see there is exclusive access, meaning that it's bypassing uh, the SHFS. And it's basically directly, um, directly going to the disk. So this is what you want. If you set a storage with just a cache pool or what used to be a cache pool, you want this to say exclusive access. Yes, that's perfect. Now, if we go back to the overview, you can see the cache only. It mentions that it's cache only with the cache pool. On the new system, it will just tell us like, hey, this is going to your, uh, your primary storage is your ZFS pool. So that's nice. Now, as for the issue that I ran into, when I created my system, I didn't even have a cache pool. I just had the array and my app data ended up on my main array. Later, I decided to add a cache pool. I moved some things around. I didn't know what I was doing and everything seemed to be working. So let's emulate that as well. So what I used to do is I put the cache pool over here, let's say we don't want the secondary storage. So it's um, like cache only on the old system and we apply. Now, if I do that, what's going to happen? It says exclusive access, no. Why is it exclusive access, no? If we go into the insights of uh, unweight and we go have a look at our disk one, we can see there is the app data um, share over here. 
And as long as the system finds um, the same folder on multiple disks or on disks of your array, it will not make it exclusive anymore. So this means app data now is still going through the SHFS and it's still getting the speed penalty. And that's not what I want. So one solution around that would be to set a secondary storage as the array for now. Tell Mover to take everything of the array onto the cache and apply. Very important, Mover can only work with files that are not in use. So app data that's related to my Docker. So what you should do is go to Docker and disable Docker fully turn it off so the files are not in use. Um, for my CCTV, I would have to shut down my recording software. I have to make sure that no backups are running, uh, that nobody's watching them, etc., etc. So make sure the files are not in use. And then on the main tab, you can trigger mover and mover should take everything off there. Now, if we go back to the share after doing that, and we go to the cache only share. Now we should be able to, I did not save that. So let's actually save it. So it goes from array to CFS and apply it. And on the main, we will trigger the mover again. And we go back to shares. In I was working on app data, my bad. So I did that before. Um, so Mover should have taken everything of the array onto the cache. So if we set secondary storage to no now and apply, the share should become exclusive access because the files are, or the directory app data is now gone from our array because Mover did put it on our cache. That's about it. I hope that helps you out, makes everything a bit clearer about how the primary and secondary storage works, how it compares to the old cache system and why you would use cache only, what exclusive access is and how to fix it. If you liked, don't forget to like, uh, to like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and post a comment if you want. Bye.